If you've used MailChimp for a long time, or maybe you used to use MailChimp and have played around with other things since then, you might notice that MailChimp has changed a lot in the last few months. They've added a lot of new features, they've moved some things around, some parts of their dashboard look different, and that's why I wanted to do this quick walkthrough and kind of show you around the new MailChimp. I am really loving these features. I've always had at least some of my clients who use MailChimp, often nonprofits or businesses that are just getting started that really need email marketing, but they can't really afford a big budget. MailChimp is the a great start for that with their free plan. And then they have fantastic higher level plans to grow with you as well. So I, like I said, I've used MailChimp off and on. I've used it with various clients. I've used a lot of the other big email services that are out there. And I'm really liking some of the new things that I'm seeing, seeing coming out of MailChimp. So let me kind of show you what some of those things are. So I'm going to do a few different videos exploring some of these features. The first one I want to show you is some of the new automation that's available in MailChimp. So let's log in and get started. This is the new login board. Um, one of the big things is create a campaign now has some new options. It used to just be email, but now we have email, we have ads and landing pages. And I'll do some more videos about all of these different features because I think they're worth diving into. But let's just stick with the most basic thing if we wanted to create an email. Uh, you'll notice this looks a little different as well. First, we have our regular email, which you might also be familiar with it being called a broadcast email in another email service uh, or an outgoing email. This is just like your regular campaign where you're sending a basic email that's going out in that moment or that you're scheduling for an upcoming date. The autom automated emails is where you get to play with some of the automation. And this is something different that none of the automation used to be available in the free plans. And now uh, some of this basic automation is. This is actually a free email plan that I'm in and you'll see still all the options that are available. So you can uh, create your welcome email here for new subscribers so that they get immediately. You also can do some really fun things like adding a birthday field to your list and saying happy birthday or something like that, um, or another important date that you want to keep track of. And of course, blog, uh, blog posts can also uh, be sent out uh, automatically here as well. You can see some other things based on subscriber activity. So when a uh, an email when a subscriber joins a list group or if their information changes. Thank you pop-up form uh, so that somebody who uh, gets a thank you can sign up. And then they have e-commerce related automation and date-based automation. You know, once they've been on for a year, you can say, hey, one year ago you signed up and I've been so excited to have you on my list. Um, recurring dates like memberships or renewals, specific dates. So there's just like so much more functionality with the automated emails than there used to be. It used to just be welcome email and then kind of your basic emails that could go out. And now there's so many ways to base it off of different types of activity. So you have a lot of new options, even just with creating an email. So that's a little bit about the automation options that are available in email. I'll do some other videos to talk about a few other things.